Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Graham Cracker J and today we are going to be going over some things that I felt were funny or just thought were cool tweets or post on social media. And I got this idea just because I've been scrolling through social media and I'm just like amazed at what I can find on social media. Now mind you, I don't have uh, vulgar social medias. My social medias are usually funny things and uh, spiritual growth things. So yeah, we're not getting nasty over here. We're just chilling. All right. Also comment down below what was your favorite Twitter quote or social media quote that I put on here. Have you guys seen some of the similar tweets? What What is your guys's feeds looking like are they positive um are they out there <laughs> you know let me know down in the comments down below and also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified any other time I post I am currently back on my Instagram I'm no longer on Snapchat uh, I'm if I am going to be on Snapchat it's going to be probably like personal just for my friends because yo <laughs> I've met some let me just stop it's not about snapchat right here this is about this video okay but yeah I am back on Instagram go ahead and add me on Instagram right here I am also on Twitter but I am not going to disclose my Twitter name because no <laughs> But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. Y'all, I'll be on my little trap phone. <laughs> this is like my old Galaxy. I had um, broken the camera thing. It's kind of funny how it happened, but yeah. So where is this first picture? All right, so this first picture, it had me crying. I was just laughing. People be forgiving let it go the past is the past oh that's some hair in my mouth <laughs> and then it's got the elephant in the black nikes hey yo <laughs> so <laughs> i just find that funny have y'all heard about the story about the lady who got killed by the elephant and then during the lady's funeral, the elephant came back and like stomped on her grave. Like, what did this lady do to this elephant? Like, that's some serious, seriousness right there. Like, you come on back to someone's grave and stomp on them? Like, sis is dead already. <laughs> you want to make sure you completely did it, right? Like, yo. And you know what's crazy is elephants are so graceful, but they're also so big. Like, I don't see why people don't keep that into consideration. Like, that's a huge animal. They move their head too fast. They can kill you. They they stomp on your foot. Your, your foot's gone. Like, that thing is crushed. Like, stop messing with these animals, y'all. Like, for real. They did nothing to you. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this one, you. Just move on. Let it go. You 24 hours later, y'all. <laughs> I know I had another elephant one, but y'all, this is just so funny to me. I I know I'm bad. I'm bad. All right, so the next picture. If you're serious about change, you have to go through uncomfortable situations. Stop trying to dodge the process. It's the only way to grow. <laughs> Yo, I. I come up across these things on YouTube randomly and it's one of the pages I follow. So yeah, but I really needed this. I really did. Like, I feel like I would just love to just jump to the finished product already, but first, what is going on? How is that now? Hold up y'all. <laughs> Y'all, my tripod was playing games with me. But anyway, what I was saying is basically like I come across these things at the perfect times in my life because I really needed that message. So next one. Never will I beg a mid-ass mofo 
for the bare minimum again. I did that before and I actually caught on to it and y'all it's so embarrassing when you look back and you're like really like why did I put up with this like why <laughs> all right so this one did I kill a plant or did the plant not have what it takes to thrive in <laughs> the fast-paced environment Hey, yo, sis, you killed that plant and so did I. I'm just coming to terms that I'm just not going to be a plant mom. Like, I love the thought of having plants and everything around my house, but my cat Sole is just not with it. And honestly, I don't know why, but they always die. <laughs> Next one. As an adult, I believe everything doesn't need to be addressed. People know what they do, and that's it. A hundred percent. I feel like people who are doing you dirty, they know you're they're doing you dirty. You don't have to sit here and be like, but you did this and you did this, and you sit here writing a whole paragraph of them treating you like crap. And it's like, but no, like you need to peep it. And then you need to move forward. Like, you know what I mean? You need to just proceed with your life because people, they're going to continue to treat you badly. And I can't, I can't stand when people are like, oh, well, they don't know. Like they have their actions. Like they never knew any better. Well, you know what? You need to find people around you that do know better because that person's going to go around in this life and they're going to keep treating people like this and they're going to meet their maker one day. I'm just let you know. <laughs> not their maker but they're gonna meet their little their twin out there and they're gonna treat them this way and then they're gonna be like whoa like I've really been doing this or they're just gonna keep doing it some people are okay with treating people like this some people get off on it all right next one the right person gonna show you that you wasn't even asking for too much yo yes yes when will she come my way like listen i know a lot of people think that someone who is high maintenance is just too much but like i'd rather date someone who's high maintenance and like <laughs> whatever and i i don't expect people to pay for my um my hobbies or what I like to do and stuff like that but I do want someone out here to just give me more you know what I mean and it's not even about like stuff at this point it's more just about <sighs> reciprocation that's what it is like if you can reciprocate like I don't want the same thing giving back to me like I have my own energies and you have your own energies and like we'll learn from each other but like effort y'all like effort that's what I look for that's that's all this rambling but effort y'all like someone with like put some effort into it and you know we'll be good all right so the next one direction is so much more important than speed some are going nowhere fast Yes, y'all. Like, I honestly feel like I didn't realize how fast paced my life was until I had slowed down. And when I slowed down, I actually started to progress more when I allowed myself to stop and navigate. Because, you know, it's kind of like NASCAR. If you're going around and around and around in circles, you don't know what's behind you that you've missed, you know? There could be some details that you miss when you're going too fast. All right. And you can interpret that different ways, but yeah. Um, this next one is, you are not required to set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. Read that again. It, it speaks for itself, y'all. And what's crazier is that people will allow you to light yourself on fire for them and feel nothing about it. They'll probably move you away because you're too hot. They'll be like, oh, you're burning me now. Like, can you, can you step aside? But 
it's just crazy how some people come out today like and for me i kind of like to explore certain things like that i've been watching like little documentaries on like just the way people are growing up and like where they grow up and why they act the way they act so like for me dissecting certain people like that it's just let me stop let me stop <laughs> that is like a guilty pleasure for me and um i don't do the crime scene ones because usually that's some intense stuff like whew. all right do we have any more okay Yo, this one got me. This is y'all are arguing with people born after 1995 again. Okay, I have two things to say. First off, I was born in 94. Okay. And I feel good that I'm not in this because like, but at the same time, I feel that people born like the gen x's and things like that they're actually teaching a lot of the older crew i'm i'm 28 they're teaching a lot of the older crew to stop and take care of yourselves because our parents the older crew our parents were workaholics they were the boomers they were literally like it was just the industrial like it was just everybody was working and everything and it was fine it was like you work you go home you eat whatever you provide but it was just like they were getting treated like crap and it was okay now like the younger crews the gen x's are like hey yo slow down enjoy life you're not here to just be a machine for other companies that just don't care for you you know that's taught me a lot y'all and i learned that during the pandemic i really did all right so this next one says i want to be obsessed with working out how do people do that yes obsess me with working out y'all like please like i'm a very active person but I really, I just want to be addicted to working out as much as I am on eating out. Like, I need to swap. It's, it's hard, y'all. It's hard. All right, y'all. So this next one says, people be trying to humble you unprovoked when they think you are beautiful and it's obvious and weird. I don't know how many times I've gotten this where I've been told that I'm really pretty and like then I would get like a backhanded compliment um and it, it was just like unnecessary and sometimes I sense when someone's trying to like bring me down and I just stay away from them sometimes I just smile like bless your heart sis you're that bored like I don't get why you want to tear me down like you got to be really bored to be tearing people down in these streets. You really do. Like, we need to uplift people. And if we don't have nothing to say to them that's friendly or caring, just leave. You know, we don't know what people are going through. But yeah, that is the last picture I have. Let me know if you guys want me to do this again. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. What was your favorite picture or quote or... Um, do you guys agree with me in certain topics? Do you not agree with me in certain topics? <laughs> Let me know down below. Also hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post. Y'all, I am almost at 300 friends. Y'all, I'm so excited. Thank y'all so much for getting me this far and watching my videos. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. But yeah, y'all, I will see y'all. Later.